Hey everybody, I'm Josh Skinner for withjosh.com and with me is my friend Harvey Walden. Right. Should I say a, a drill sergeant Harvey Walden or former sol sergeant or what was your exact years. title in the Marine Corps? I'm a retired first sergeant Okay. and my actual title is a uh, drill instructor. Drill instructor, yeah, okay. The drill sergeant term got, uh, I was labeled a drill sergeant when I was living in London when I first started doing celebrity fit club Okay. and uh, it was one of those names I just couldn't shake so. It's not the proper title, but you know it stuck with me. And are you okay me. with that? Um, you know, drill instructors are uh, we're a different breed. A drill sergeant gets the job done, but you know, when you're a drill instructor, you, when you are a marine drill instructor, you take that personal. I mean, that's that's like, you know, that's the 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 cream of the crop. Yeah. So it's it's a I definitely prefer a drill instructor, but you know. I'm retired now, so I'll be. You spent right 23 with years. 23 and a half. 23 and a half. <laughs> okay, got it. Got it. Well, hey, I'm not gonna mess with you. Okay. Hey, give you my extra, my extra months there. What, what was that? You joined the Marines when you were 17. Yes, sir. Is this what you thought your life would end up? That be that you would be 23 and a half years of service, multiple television shows. Where did you think when you were 17 joined the Marines? Where did you think you'd be at uh, 29? <laughs> it's funny you say that because I uh, I never ever thought. I'll be doing anything other than being a Marine. Really? My ultimate goal was to be Sergeant Major Marine Corps. And um, I was actually, you know, I was tracking right along and I retired first sergeant. And unfortunately I retired uh, because I didn't want to pick up Sergeant Major. I was getting close. I mean, I was like very, very close. And I was getting ready to go on book tour. And uh, we had a new season of Fit Club that was getting ready to, uh, to start filming. And then I got uh, an endorsement deal uh, with LA Fitness, and I had to start traveling in Europe to, mm -hmm. to uh, work out at all the gyms, do boot camps. So like, no way I can keep keep this going on and give my Marines the hundred ten percent they deserve being a sergeant major or being a first sergeant for that matter. So, what inspires you? My grandfather believed it not. Why? I was four years old, and my grandfather threw me in a dojo, and. Uh, he used to have me meditate. After, after uh, every class, he used to have me meditate. And I would get up and uh, it's like, I'm done. It's like, what have you not done? Because I, I had a. Done meditating? Yeah, okay. Because yeah, yeah. I, in class, I was always like really aggressive and, you know, I never knew how to stop sparring when, you know, he would say, all right, you know, bro, you know, you're supposed to stop. And he's like, no, I would still want to fight because I just want to, like, now, nah, like, yeah. I oppose it, right? I got some issues, though. That. We all <laughs> so, have issues, yeah. yeah. Totally, man. So, uh, my grandpa used to make me sit in the corner and I meditate. And I was sitting on my knees and, and I would get done. And every time I got up, he said, I said, I'm done, granddad. He was like, no, you're not done yet. I said, what do you mean I'm not done? He said, no, you're not done yet. He says, I, I tell you when I'm done. I said, you just told me to meditate. I'm done now. He's like, no, you're not done. So, if, I mean, until I got my black belt, my first black belt when I was six years old, I never understood why he always, uh, you know, would make me sit there and meditate for, uh, to me it seemed like hours, but it was his way of, of teaching me how to have some self-discipline and control. Do you still meditate? Yeah, yeah. not as much as uh, I used to, but why? It, it puts me in a, in, a, in a place, it puts me in a place where um, I, I can actually calm, calm myself. It, uh, it puts my day in perspective. And uh, when we get put in situations where we're a little bit, not totally out of our comfort zone, but you know, it's, it's a bit much when I play, we go back to things that we know works. And if you have a strong foundation, mm -hmm. and whatever that foundation was that you know, it's like going back to when I talk about keeping that diary, when, when you're trying to lose weight, you, jot, you write all those things down in your diary, so when you get off, when you get on course, and you get off course again, you can go right back to that foundation, which is that diary, you put everything in there on how you got yourself you know, in the box. And, and, and my unit took a lot of, uh, a lot of dang on casualties, man. We had a really tough, uh, we had a really tough uh, casualty in uh, Iraq. When you, when you're, you mean you lost a lot of friends? Yeah, yeah, I lost, I lost, some, uh, I lost a really good friend, and I lost four other Marines. And uh, it, it, it was it was dull and tough. For when was this? Uh, it was 2005. Okay. Yeah. And um, 
I was running those tank trails and I was like, shit, man, I can't believe Terry's gone. That was that was my buddy that I lost and uh, uh and the other Marines that uh that died in the tank. And I said, damn, I need to find a place to, to give me some peace right now. And I stopped and I ran in these the ran in the back of these, you know, these woods. And for some reason it was like my grandfather was was there. Had he already passed? No, no, he's uh, in he, fact, he's still alive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. He's in he's in uh unfortunately he's at home now. And uh, in fact we went to go see him when uh, when I was home and it was weird because every time me and granddad got together we always used to do these little freaking jujitsu and Aikido moves and I'm still playing around with him and he's like looking at me like <laughs> like, Be careful, son. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you're 93 years old, and I'll wrap you up like a pretzel. Like, you know? <laughs> it's like, it'll be in love, yeah. and I'll wrap your 93 year old butt up in a pretzel. Okay, so you're in the woods, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, you felt yeah. your granddad. Yeah, so and for some reason, man, it was like he was there, and he's like, you know, sit down and get back in that corner and, and meditate. I sat down and I started meditating. And every every time he told me I wasn't done, it all started playing in my head. It's like he was telling me I wasn't done because you you know when you get to that place. You know, and, and and it's hard to describe it because that I know I needed to go somewhere at that point. I didn't know where I needed to go, but I had to get there. And in order for me to get that, I had to release myself of everything. And I imagined myself, what I did, the first thing I did was I picked up on all the different sounds out there in the tank trails, from the, from the squirrels to the deer, to the coons and snakes and everything else. And then I started listening to my granddad giving me you know, all these different lessons of life. And uh, it was the weirdest, weirdest moment, but it was, uh, I'm getting off. Freaking soft up. No, it's great. No, yeah, it's, yeah. it's so it's so great that, that you got this sign to you. Um, so when you meditate, I'm an asshole all the time. You're not an asshole. Yeah, no, um, I can be an asshole. Don't get me wrong. Believe me, I, I can, can be an asshole. Yeah, I can rip somebody's fucking head off and shit down their throat. Like it's cool, but I would probably hire someone to do that. But that's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's talk about um. A lot of housewives uh, emailed me and they want like advice. How does a housewife? Uh, a lot of them. Yo-yo, their weight, their weight, their weight yo-yos. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. So like they'll fluctuate from like a size six to a size nine, and their body just keeps changing, and then they'll lose the weight. And it's just well, why? Why are women like that? You know, um, every everybody's body is 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 so different, right? You know, and um, you have to learn your body, and that goes from you know you have to start keeping a diary, a journal from the time you wake up until the time you go to bed of every little thing because your body reacts to you know, different foods. I mean, my body may react to a food differently than yours. And uh, you know, Kim and I did this for the past, we've been doing it for the past few years, you know, learning the body. You have to learn your body and how it reacts to the foods, uh, the exercise, you know, the time of the month, you know, hormones, you know, some uh, uh, Medical histories that might you know you might have inherited from you know your your mom and grandmothers. Does that apply to men as well? Yeah, man, men. It's just that it's women. It just it it sucks ass for women. Sorry, women, but it sucks ass. But <laughs> yeah, you just you have to learn your body, and uh, you know it's just it's part of life. But I tell you, once you learn it, it's the best thing since peanut butter and organic jelly. Yeah, well, <laughs> sugar free. Organic, yeah, sugar, sugar free. free. Yeah. Do you have any cheat days yourself? I mean, he's yeah. like ripped. So, what's your guilty food pleasure? Shrimp fried rice, no soy sauce. Why? The soy sauce, I mean, cholesterol, I don't need that. Okay. Yeah. What about sodium free? Is that okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I drink, uh, yeah, I drink V8 every morning. Uh, sodium free? Sodium. Yep. Low sodium. Oh, low sodium. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, uh, and cheesecake. Cheesecake. Why cheesecake? I don't know how I came across cheese. I think it was when I was in the Philippines when I first had a slice of cheesecake back in. Uh, <laughs> That's so random. You're from the Philippines. Yeah, I know. I was. It was like, it like New York cheesecake, yeah, not like, Filipino actually cheesecake. Was. <laughs> yeah. was, New York cheesecake yeah, in the Philippines. It was the funniest awesome. thing. I was in a. I was in a bar in Manila, and uh, I had a slice of New York cheesecake, and uh, this freaking beer was called Red Horse or something like that. It's so American. Yeah. 